hello um, this is a very quick um, tip to be able to launch the random man for substance painter 24 one um, inside of the latest version of Adobe substance designer 3d painter so I um, made the mistakes and I as I have heard a lot of people um, made the mistake on the installation and I have talked to the developer to um, Philippe and I was able to figure it out so it's quite easy to install so when you look over the github page where you can download it um, I will um, yeah I have already um, shared this and uh, pixels render man al also shared it so when you come to the uh, GitHub page, you see this OS X folder structure. And yeah, honestly, you can totally forget that. So the only thing that you need to do, you download this, um, this um, uh, zip file. So let us say you download it to, um, yeah, I had a bunch of, um, I will download it to here so that we have a clear path to it and the next thing that you do you uh, oh, I hope I have changed that so I hope it was not flickering so the only thing that you have to do is you unpack this and you go inside of this folder and you can forget this folder and you can probably copy and paste this one but for now we only need those three files so um, you copy paste those files and then you go to your installation to your custom user folder so when you open adobe uh, substance painter you go to the python um, tab or to the python menu and here you can have um, a button called plugin uh, folder in uh, or Ordner in German folder in English plugin folder and you hit this and then you come directly to your plugin folder for Python and inside you find this plugin plugins folder you dive down into that and then you essentially just copy paste those files into it I also um, put the icons um, folder into this directory so um, yeah you don't um, put those contents you only put those contents into into the plugin folder and then it will work so you restart Adobe Substance Painter and or you can also um, reload everything and you have a new point render man for substance painter and then you have this bar on the right and here you can do everything what you want and yeah it should work then I hope this helps you in order to yeah export wonderful shaders with render man see you bye